the perfect words to say to narcissists, to knock them out forever. By the time you've finished watching this video, you will have a comprehensive understanding of how to communicate effectively with a narcissist, and how to use your words to permanently knock them out of your life. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Hello, everyone. If you're a newcomer to my channel, I extend a warm welcome to you. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate your continued support and thank you for tuning in once again. Regardless of your status, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about my new videos that I post throughout the week. Now, let's delve into our main topic of discussion, how to confront a narcissist and knock them out permanently. It's important to remember that when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're essentially dealing with a person who feels overly entitled, behaves childishly, and lacks understanding and respect for boundaries. Narcissists also tend to lack empathy and a moral conscience, which further complicates interactions with them. Moreover, you're dealing with a master manipulator. Narcissists are individuals who are willing to go to any extent, lengths that most ordinary people cannot even begin to imagine, just to have their way. They strive to win arguments, portray themselves as the hero or the victim, and maintain a positive public image. They are willing to go to any lengths to achieve these goals. Therefore, it's crucial to choose your battles wisely when dealing with a narcissist. I'm going to be brutally honest with you here, most of the time, it will be in your best interest to simply disengage, retreat quietly, avoid drawing attention to your withdrawal, and once you've distanced yourself, make sure to maintain that distance. In dealing with narcissistic individuals, this is typically the most effective strategy. However, there might be instances where this is not a viable option for you. Perhaps you're not ready, willing, or able to remove yourself from the situation entirely. If that's the case, here's what you need to know. To knock out a narcissist permanently, the first step is to remove all emotion from your interactions with them. Do not react to their provocations under any circumstances. Treat your interactions with them as if they were strictly business transactions, regardless of the nature of your relationship with them. There is absolutely no room for emotion if your goal is to knock them out permanently. Maintain a calm, cool, and collected demeanor, no matter what they throw at you. This is crucial to your success in dealing with a narcissist. In your quest to effectively handle a narcissist, it's paramount to adopt a conscious approach that emphasizes the importance of maintaining your composure. This involves grounding yourself in the present moment, channeling your focus on your breath, and ensuring you stay in tune with your physical being. The primary objective here is to remain non-reactive, or in simpler terms, to underreact to the best of your ability. Yes, it might feel like a daunting task that requires you to put on a performance of a lifetime, but rest assured, you are well equipped to rise to this challenge. There might be instances when you feel overwhelmed, when the urge to overreact, vent, or let loose a whirlwind of emotions engulfs you. You might feel an intense desire to channel your anger, hurt, and frustration. It's okay to feel this way, and it's absolutely okay to express these emotions. However, it's crucial to pick a time and place for such expressions. You can let your emotions flow freely when you're alone or in the company of a trusted friend, confidant, or any safe person in your support system. Remember, if your aim is to knock out a narcissist, you must emulate their demeanor, albeit temporarily. Cold, detached, and unfeeling, that's the mindset you need to adopt. Now, this might seem counterintuitive, but trust me, it's a necessity. Don't waste your energy trying to reason with a narcissist. Seeking to be heard or trying to get your needs met will be an exercise in futility. You're not dealing with a reasonable, rational adult. You're dealing with someone who is wounded, entitled, and behaves like a petulant child. You're dealing with an individual who is willing to go to any lengths to provoke you, to win arguments, to manipulate you, and to manipulate the perceptions of others. This person will stop at nothing to get their way and if driven by resentment, they would not hesitate to seek revenge. The harsh truth is that narcissists lack a fundamental moral compass or conscience. This blatant disregard for morality enables them to go to lengths that are unimaginable for people like us. They're not burdened by the emotional consequences of their shocking attitudes and behaviors, which is why we often find ourselves taken aback by their actions. 
Narcissists are experts at contriving situations and circumstances that work in their favor. They manipulate and play mind games, conveniently leaving out significant chunks of truth. In dealing with a narcissist, you must brace yourself for these tactics and navigate this maze with a calm and composed demeanor. Yes, it's a challenge, but remember, you have the strength and resilience to overcome it. In the complex realm of human interactions, there exist individuals who are far from ordinary, the narcissists. These individuals engage in activities that the majority of us couldn't even fathom, let alone execute. Consequently, the usual approach one might adopt when dealing with an average person falls short in the face of a narcissist. You might be someone who is naturally compassionate, empathetic, and loving, someone who strives to enhance their communication skills, patience, tolerance, and understanding, with the belief that these traits could help forge a bond with a narcissist. You might even be willing to go to great lengths, twisting and turning yourself metaphorically, in the hope of making this relationship work. However, I urge you to forget all of these notions. The usual tools you bring to a conversation with a rational, sane, and healthy adult are ineffective when dealing with a narcissist. In these unusual circumstances, you need to forget everything you know about normal interactions. The strategies that work in a conversation with a reasonable individual will not yield the desired outcomes with a narcissist. This might seem counterintuitive, and that's precisely what it is. The standard approach needs to be flipped on its head when dealing with narcissists. Here's how you can knock them out, metaphorically speaking. Adopt a demeanor that is as detached, indifferent, and emotionless as possible. Use concise, clear, simple statements that succinctly express your thoughts. Statements such as, no, no, thank you, sorry, I'm not available, unfortunately, I can't do that, I'm not interested, thank you, can be incredibly effective. The magic lies in the simplicity and brevity of these statements. No, in itself, is a complete sentence, and it might require some practice to get comfortable with its usage. You might want to rehearse in front of a mirror to master the art of delivering these statements, devoid of any emotional intensity. The key is to maintain a calm, detached demeanor. Your words should be clear and concise, followed by silence. The silence might be uncomfortable, but it's essential to embrace it. This approach might seem opposite to your nature, but remember, when dealing with a narcissist, the usual rules don't apply. The goal is to maintain your composure, refrain from emotional reactions, and effectively knock out the narcissist with your calm, rational responses. For instance, the word no, followed by silence, can be a powerful tool. It might be uncomfortable, but it's crucial to let the silence linger, to let it make its impact. You need to breathe, stay calm, and remember that you are merely delivering information. You are not engaging in an emotional transaction, but a business one. You could also use phrases like, I understand, I see, I hear you, I'll let you know, let me see, or let me think about it. These are short, clear, and straightforward statements, each followed by silence. It might seem counterintuitive, but silence can be incredibly powerful. Once you get past its discomfort, you'll realize that it can convey more than words can, especially when dealing with a narcissist. The aim here is to communicate a clear message to the narcissist that they have no power or influence over you. You're not an easy target, and any attempt to control or manipulate you is bound to fail. This is not an invitation for a power struggle, but a declaration of your autonomy. Silence can make a narcissist more uncomfortable than you could imagine. It's a powerful tool that you can leverage to your advantage. In certain situations, you can also use phrases like, cool, okay, I'm okay with that, that's fine with me, or even, I don't care. And then let the silence follow. If you're feeling brave, you could even say something like, yeah, that's not going to happen, and watch the narcissist grapple with their powerlessness. By adopting this form of communication, detached, emotionless, and businesslike, you can effectively knock out a narcissist. You're not inviting them to play their games with you, but signaling that you are not a pawn in their scheme. Eventually, they will have to look for someone else to engage with, leaving you in peace. This approach allows you to progress towards a healthier and happier life, free from the chaos and manipulation that a narcissist brings. You are not shutting down the person per se 
but their attempts to control and manipulate you. It's a step towards reclaiming your peace, your autonomy, and your life. The gray rock method can be an effective way to interact with a destructive narcissist. This involves using silence as your shield right from the beginning. Your energy should communicate that you have boundaries, that you're not an easy target, and that you're not easily shaken. It's about being as uninteresting, uninterested, and unaffected as a gray rock. This strategy aims to diffuse what could otherwise be an intense and high-voltage situation. You're not seeking to provoke or worsen the situation, but to turn down the volume on the chaos and insanity. You can't control how the narcissist behaves or reacts, but you can control your own actions and reactions. Your goal is to calm the situation, not escalate it. It's also important to avoid causing a narcissistic injury, which can trigger narcissistic rage. This won't end well for you. Sometimes, your mere presence can cause a narcissist to feel injured, but where you do have control, exercise it. Avoid the temptation to have the last word, to make a snide remark, or to engage in a pointless argument. Keep your ego in check and avoid causing unnecessary narcissistic injury whenever possible. By adopting this approach, you can effectively knock out the narcissist's attempts to manipulate and control you. You're not inviting them to play their games with you, but signaling that you're not a pawn in their scheme. Over time, they'll realize that they can't control or manipulate you and will move on to someone else, leaving you in peace. This strategy allows you to manage your interactions with the narcissist, diffuse potential conflicts, and maintain your mental and emotional well-being. Keep in mind that narcissists aim to elicit an emotional response from you. Therefore, be ready to respond with phrases like, okay, you're allowed to think that, you're allowed to see it that way, or you're allowed to feel that way. By not engaging and avoiding being pulled into their toxic whirlwind, you essentially starve them of their needed dose of narcissistic supply. Soon, they'll realize that you're not a good source of this supply. As much as possible, maintain a level of detachment. Don't get pulled in. Hold on to your identity and use the I or we language when you have to communicate with these people. During the frustrating, illogical, mind-twisting, and insane conversations with these individuals, it's tempting to switch to the you language. But remember, that's not helpful and it's certainly not going to help you knock them out permanently. If you keep using you, regardless of how justified you might be, they'll feel attacked and cornered. This will only escalate the situation, making everything much more difficult to handle. So, speak in the I or we language. Keep it at that and learn to manage your own energy field. Learn to handle your emotions and reactions. Avoid sarcasm. Stay calm, strong, grounded, and clear, holding on to your identity and refusing to cede your power. With that, I'll conclude this discussion. I hope you found some value in this today. If you enjoyed what you heard, remember to like, comment, and share your key takeaway. Also, share it with your friends if you think they'd find it useful. If you're new to my channel, a big warm welcome to you and thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications when I post new videos every day. I'll leave you with this thought, know your worth, recognize your value, and unlock your freedom. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Much love, and bye for now.